is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to resolve a fraction into partial fractions so we are given okay problem resolve 3x plus 2 by 2 minus x minus x square into partial fraction so we are given a fraction 3x plus 2 by 2 minus x minus x square okay let's take it as p of x by q of x so here we are having p of x equals to 3x plus 1 and degree of p of x is 1. And degree of q of x is 2. Right? We are having q of x equals to 2 minus x minus x square and degree of q of x is 2. So we are having degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. 1 is less than 2, right? So degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. From this we can say that the given fraction is a proper fraction. Okay, so it is clear that we are given a proper fraction. Solution given proper fraction is 3x plus 2 by 2 minus x minus x square. Okay. In the denominator, we are having 2 minus x minus x square. So, we could write it as 2 minus 2x plus x minus x square. Okay. So, from the first two terms, you can take two common. If you take two common, you will get 1 minus x plus. From the next two terms, you can take x common. If you will take x common, you will get x into 1 minus x. So, now take 1 minus x common from these two terms. So, you will get 1 minus x into 2 plus x. Okay. Now, you could write this 1, 2 minus x minus x square as 1 minus x into 2 plus x. So, this equals to 3x plus 2 by 1 minus x into 2 plus x. So, you could write it as a by 1 minus x plus b by 2 plus x. Okay. Three x plus two is a linear. One minus x is a linear. Two plus x is linear. So you could write it as a by one minus x plus b by two plus x. So we are having. Okay, you can consider it as equation one. Now, So, here you are having 1 minus x in the denominator and 2 plus x in the denominator of the second fraction. So, let's find LCM of x minus 1 and 2 plus x. 1 minus x into 1 is so 1 minus x. 2 plus x. So, LCM of 1 minus x and 2 plus x is 1 minus x into 2 plus x. So, this equals to... So, in the numerator, you will get a into 2 plus x. So, in the denominator of first fraction, you are having 1 minus x. Already, you are having 1 minus x in the LCM of these two. So, you should not take this 1 minus 2. That means, you should not multiply 1 minus x to this a. Okay. Only, you should multiply 2 plus x. Okay. So, we'll see. You are having 1 plus x in the numerator and, sorry, 2 plus x in the numerator and denominator. You can cancel this too. If you cancel this too, you will get again a by 1 minus x, which is the same. Okay. Plus b into 
in the denominator of second fraction you are having 2 plus x also here also you are having 2 plus x what we have to do is we need to multiply b by 1 minus x so that 1 minus x gets cancelled and you'll get b by 2 plus x okay so you're having 3x plus 2 by 1 minus x into 2 plus x equals to a into 2 plus x plus b into 1 minus x by 1 minus x into 2 plus x. So you can cancel 1 minus x, 1 minus x, 2 plus x, 2 plus x. Okay. So you'll get 3x plus 2 equals to a into 2 plus x plus b into 1 minus x. You can consider it as equation number 2. Now write equation 1 and 2 separately. Three x plus two by two minus x minus x square equals to three x plus two by one minus x into two plus x, which is equals to a by 1 minus x plus b by 2 plus x. This is our equation number 1. And 3x plus 2 equals to a into 2 plus x plus b into 1 minus x. This is our equation number 2. Okay. Now using equation 2, we are going to find the values of unknowns a and b. And finally, we will substitute that unknown values in equation 1. Okay. Now, consider equation 2. So, here you are having 2 plus x and 1 minus x, right? So, let's take 2 plus x equals to 0. Let 2 plus x equals to 0, then x equals to minus 2. Now, put x equals to minus 2 in equation 2. So, from 2 we will get 3 into, now replace x equals to minus 2 a into 2 plus of minus 2 plus b into 1 minus of minus 2. Okay. So, 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 plus 2 equals to a into 2 plus into minus minus 2 plus b into 1 minus into minus plus 2. You'll get minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 equals to a into 2 minus 2 is 0 plus b into 1 plus 2 is 3. You get minus 4 equals to 0 plus 3b. So, here you are having 3b equals to minus 4. From this, you will get the value of b, which is equal to minus 4 by 3. Minus 4 by 3. So, now you are having the value of b, minus 4 by 3. Now, you need to find the value of a. Okay. Therefore, b equals to minus 4 by 3. Now, we need to find the value of So let's take 1 plus x equals to 0, 1 minus x, sorry, 1 minus x equals to 0, then you'll get x equals to, take this x to right hand side, then you'll get 1 equals to x, that is x equals to 1, okay. One equals to x, or x equals to 1. So now put x equals to 1 in equation 2. Simply replace x by 1. Okay. You'll get 3 into 1, 3. 
plus 2 equals to A into 2 plus 1 is 3 plus B into 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay. Three plus five, sorry, three plus two is five equals to three a plus zero. So from this you'll get three a equals to five. Finally, you'll get the value of a, which is five by three. So therefore, a equals to five by three. So now what we have to do is we need to substitute the values of A and B in equation 1. So now substitute A, B values in 1. So 1 becomes 3x plus 2 by 2 minus x minus x squared equals to 3x plus 2 by 1 minus x into 2 plus x equals to a by 1 minus x plus b by 2 plus x. You are having the value of a which is 5 by 3. So put a equals to 5 by 3 and put b equals to minus 4 by 3. Okay. So you could write it as equals to you can skip this fraction. So you could write it as 5 by 3 into 1 minus x minus you're having minus right so plus into minus is minus so you are i'm writing minus 4 by 3 into 2 plus x okay so therefore 3x plus 2 by 2 minus x minus x square equals to 5 by 3 into 1 minus x minus 4 by 3 into 2 plus x. This completes the problem. So we have to solve the fraction into partial fractions. So we have seen a problem from partial fractions in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.